right, welcome to the Driver's Line bonus content. We're here with Partner Perspectives, where I'm going to be asking... Can you turn off those windshield <laughs> Where oh. I'm going to be asking my wife, Nicole, about her perspectives about this Maserati Ghibli that we're riding in. What do you think about the ride? What do you mean? feels like I'm in a car. Okay, what's your what's your uh, favorite part about the interior sitting here? What do you like? Nothing. <laughs> this car, is, not this car is ugly. <laughs> okay, how would you describe the styling of this car? Um, what do you think? I, it's giving 1990s. Like, poor. But pretending to not be. Oh, you know that this is like the sister brand to Ferrari. I don't know why that matters. Okay. Alright, what about the sound? Does it sound good to you? I hate it when you do that. It sounds like, it sounds like a car. These are silly questions. What would you pay for this car if it was brand new? How much would you use brand new? <laughs> my Kia Soul was $23,000 and I wouldn't pay that much. Because <laughs> I like my Kia Soul better. So, um, I would say $17,000. <laughs> what if I told you this car started at $80,000? I was say, who the f*** is <laughs> buying these? Are they all, do they all look like this on the inside? I mean, there's some different colors to it. But... Sad. What advice would you give Maserati to fix this car? <laughs> Crackles and pops. I don't really have a lot of advice. Um, I would. It's very black too. Like it's very. There's no. Uh, some add some contrast. Add some contrast. From one Italian to another, right? This is from Bologna. Pit stop. So with all that being said, uh, in honor of Maserati's hometown of Bologna, how many bologna sandwiches out of five? Would you give this car? One and a half. Okay. The crust, the crust cut off. <laughs> Deep insights from Nicole. You're welcome. <laughs> and how to fix the Maserati Ghibli. Yes. Stay Add some tuned. Contrast. We'll, we'll do this again next time. <laughs>